Miss Kitchen, my name is Samara Jelimo. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make yummy vanilla cake at home. So let's start. Make sure to watch till the end of the video to see the end results. Let's start. First one ingredient list is 225 grams of all-purpose flour mixed in with a teaspoon of baking soda. Next is 225 grams of margarine, 225 grams of sugar, 4 eggs, 84 grams of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's start. First, we are going to take our margarine and put, add it into our mixing bowl. First, we are, you can either use a, a whisk or a hand mixer. It's just what you have around your house. For today, I'm going to use an electrical mixer. I'm going to beat it till it becomes a light paste. Make sure it's on. just to make it a little bit softer. Now we are going to add in our sugar and we are going to mix it. is all mixed in we are going to take our vanilla and mix it and now we are going to take our mix and put it away for we don't need it anymore we are going to take our flour and pour everything in. We are going to take our spatula and fold everything in slowly. Make sure to fold everything in till it's all combined. The reason that you are not using a mixer to mix the flour is because when we beat our flour for too long, or when you beat it too much, it will form something called gluten and it will make your cake not stable or at the middle it will be too spongy. Mm. 
And now I'm going to mix it till it's all combined. For about let's say only two minutes and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Now after you have combined everything till it's all well mixed, we are and our cake butter is ready. We are going to take our cake tin. I've just aligned it with some margarine on the bottom and on the sides and I've just aligned it with some parchment paper. Now we are going to take our cake butter and pour all of it in into the cake tin. Make sure you take everything out. Make sure to scrape everything because you don't want to waste any cake. We are just going to put something on the top and we are going to tap it. As you can see, the more we tap it, the more all the air bubbles from the bottom goes up to the top. And now it's done and ready to go into the oven. We are going to open our oven and carry our cake butter slowly into the oven, close it and put it for about let's say 30 minutes for 150 degrees for 30 minutes and now or let's take it up on 40 minutes. Because after 40 minutes, I think it will be ready and we'll check it on it after 40 minutes. It's been 40 minutes and I'm sure now it's ready. We are going to take it out of the oven now. First, we are going to take our cake tester and poke it at the middle. And as you can see, there's no more cake butter left. And that's when you know that your cake is ready. We are going to take it out of the oven. It's hot. Take it out slowly. And now we are going to put it on our cooling rack. And take off the tin. Slowly. Because it's still hot, you have to be gentle with this. Take off the parchment paper. We are going to use, we are going to take something. And now I'm going to let it cool till it's all completely cool till the middle, so it's easier to serve. And I'm going to let it cool, and I'll see you guys when it's completely cooled. And now my cake has completely cooled till the middle and now it's ready to serve. I'm going to cut it to, for you guys to see. And as you can see, it is cooked all the way through. It's spongy, it's soft. It's not dry, it's cooked completely, and now I'm going to cut a piece, and now, this is so yummy, I hope you guys try this recipe at home, and I hope you guys also share this recipe, and make sure to learn subscribe and turn on those personal notifications to see more videos bye